one thing you also notice when you're uh, walking down Cornwall, um, especially along the bigger bays like this one here that connects Watergate almost to Port. It's literally one beach. But what you'll notice anyway along these big beaches is there's loads and loads of jellyfish. Um, and I'll show you a few pictures of them. Some are quite big actually and it's a bit worrying when you're going in the sea to surf that you get all these jellyfish washing up. Good evening guys, here we are in our local beach behind me, Poof. and what we're going to do now is I'm going to try and walk behind me that way up to that point over there and try and get the sunset, I don't know if you can see on the picture, you can't but um, the clouds are red so the sun is obviously set in so we need to try and hurry up and get there and see if we can get the sunset. Okay, so here we are on the end of the cliff. Unfortunately, we didn't get a sunset because of the low cloud, which blocked the uh, sun in the end. But this point here where I'm standing right now is probably quite a landmark as such for my channel. Um, you might remember some of it behind me, if I point to this cliff here. I stood on that cliff to do a panorama for my intro clips. So when you see the Ollie JHN turning up over the cliff as I do a panorama, that was taken on that cliff there. And if you look behind me, you can see Nuki it up just over there. It's Nuki. All the nightlife going on there. And of course, this cliff here is where we got our sunsets. So if you remember my second video, the perfect sunset, um, just behind me was where those sunsets were taking place. So it is quite a landmark. And just end on that view there. Okay, so it's now the night time of day three and unfortunately I didn't capture much on camera today. I was at the beach um, and enjoying a bit of surfing, but have a look round. Um, we're on that same cliff top again and hopefully you can see Nuki behind me over here. That way, and we've got sunset happening over there. So we've got it all, all going on, but I just wanted to quickly talk a little bit about a story that happened on the beach. I was going in the sea um, and we were surfing obviously and I thought, well, I'll do a bit of bodyboarding for a while, change it up and I was wearing my waterproof shoes and my wetsuit and all that, so I got in the sea. And then there was this swarm of jellyfish and we could tell they were in there because they were washing up to start with on the beach. Um, and at first it was a bit like, are they gonna sting you or not? But there was those people in the sea all in their wetsuits all surfing, so it seemed all right. There was literally thousands of them. Everywhere you went, every wave, there was some jellyfish floating about, some big ones like that, some tiny ones, all different colors. Um, so I got in the sea and I was all fine. I was surfing for about, well, bodyboard actually, for about two, two hours nearly. And then I thought, right, okay, let's wash out my wetsuit. So instead of going on the beach and getting it all sandy, I took it off in the sea. And then as luck has it, yep, a big jellyfish comes and I touch it on my hand, but I just feel the jelly. I'm like, oh, that's a jellyfish and all that. And then I thought, oh, these probably don't actually sting. That's why everyone's in with these jellyfish. And then, take off my leg of my wetsuit, get stuck, and then this jellyfish comes flying into me and it stings me all over the leg here. And the way to describe it, I'd say, it's pretty similar to a stinging nettle rash, a stinging nettle rash, a stinging nettle rash. Twice as bad and it lasts a lot longer. But it's just the initial feel of, am oh, I gonna get an allergic reaction to it? It's all gonna puff up and all this and that. So we went up to lifeguards and like, oh, what happens when you get a jellyfish sting? And it's just, just put some water over it, put some water over it, put some water over it. They were probably here every day because of these thousands, but apparently it's because a warm winter and they all come in in swarms. So that, that's great for the surfers. So just make sure you wear your wetsuits basically and don't take them off in the sea. So tomorrow um, we're going to go back to that same bay, but we're not going in the water, we're not risking the jellyfish, and we're going to do a quick walk to Travone Bay. Uh, and there, we've been there before, is this big crater. So I want to show you that tomorrow, it's pretty cool. Um, also, this morning we flew the drone. And just one last thing tonight while I'm here. I'm watching the sun setting behind me, which is a bit rubbish because the low cloud and it's pretty dark now because the sun set. So sorry about the low light, but I just want to quickly say, um, I'll just quickly show you some fields. Um, I basically, I was running to see the sunset and I left my family behind. I was just like, quick, I need to get the sunset. 
and I was running up and I took the wrong path, um, this walkway, and then I had to cut across to get to another path. So basically I had to run across all this terrain and there was like all this moss and these thistles and everything, so that was getting on my foot. And then suddenly I just fell down this big rabbit hole and I nearly tripped, fell in the thistles and everything. So that was a bloody nightmare. Um, but I did get there in the end. Um, so that's it for tonight and I'll join you tomorrow. <laughs>